Welcome back to The Exchange. Evercore ISI is projecting a recession in the first half of 2024. And one analyst says one place for investors to take shelter is shelter, or at least the single-family rental space. They upgraded shares of invitation homes to outperform today, saying the residential REIT will hold up in a downturn, especially given the affordability crisis. Joining me now is Steve Sakwa, the analyst behind that call. Steve, it's great to have you here today. Welcome. Great. Thanks, Kelly, for having me. This is the same invitation homes that we all thought was responsible for causing the affordability crisis in the first place. In other words, buying up a lot of homes, renting them out, that kind of thing. Well, look, the uh, the housing market is certainly very large across the U.S., and there has been an institutionalization of home ownership uh, with invitation and one of its uh, closest peers, uh, American Homes for Rent. Mm -hmm. But they own a very small piece of the overall housing market. And, um, you know, I, I think there's been a shortage of housing in general, which has created, I think, this uh, dynamic of pushing up housing across the board. Yeah, I was reading some research from Barry Knapp this weekend as well, and he thinks that, you know, the Fed had a lot to do with it as well. That, you know, they bought so many mortgage-backed securities. Anyway, that's a whole other story. So what what is the case for owning invitation homes now into what looks like a really difficult macro environment? Yeah. So, look, at the end of the day, shelter is, is certainly something that we all need, whether it's going to be apartments, whether it's it's homes in general. Uh, and we think that right now the uh, the differential in uh, home ownership pricing versus renting is quite wide. And that uh, does play well into both invitation and, and their closest peer from a uh, from an affordability standpoint. So whether, you know, folks want to buy or rent, that that's a big choice. But there is a big spread right now, and it does seem to be favoring renting over uh, home ownership. Exactly. And we've seen that spread where now actually renting looks like a much better deal. It's just that a lot of um, actual buyers don't seem interested. So uh, how does invitation leverage that? Well, their occupancy is still very strong, Kelly. They're sitting sort of plus or minus 97% across the portfolio. I think the number got as high as 98%, uh, which is a very, very high number across any property type to stay at that level. Uh, but, you know, right now, uh, we still think that the portfolio can average somewhere in the 96 to 97% range. And they've had very good uh, success pushing rents. We, we think that those uh, rent numbers are going to moderate. And we're seeing that really across the entire resi complex where uh, whether it's apartments or single family rental, uh, the increases that these companies have achieved over the last few years is not at a sustainable level. But we certainly think something in the kind of mid single digit range is uh, is affordable and, and certainly achievable. And as I said, the spread between owning and renting still favors renting right yeah, now. It, it makes a lot of sense, especially if we now see massive pullback in multifamily and, and housing supply because of the pressures that banks and others are going to be under in the kind of the near-term macro storm. I kind of wanted to get those fundamentals from you because the next obvious question to ask is, what about higher interest rates? I mean, even if they had the best kind of supply and demand dynamics in the world and rent growth and all of that, what is going on as you watch the 10-year, like we all do, just continuing to march higher? I'm not even talking about what that means for mortgages, obviously. I'm just talking about for the REIT business, broadly speaking. Yeah, look, that's certainly been a headwind, Kelly, and and the ten year was up about seventy five basis points in the in the third quarter, and that certainly put a lot of pressure on REITs overall. The sector itself was down about seven percent, and invitation in particular was down about seven percent. So that sort of created the opportunity we thought to get in. Uh, you know, we've seen this big march up in the ten year. Hopefully, we're getting close to the end of that uh, march higher. Uh, we think that if if things uh, do start to slow down economically and, and whether we get to the soft landing or even a modest recession, if the 10 years lower, let's say six to 12 months from now, we think that takes some of the pressure off of the uh, the REIT multiples. Uh, and as I said, we still think the supply demand dynamics are still pretty favorable for the single family rental. And so we see it as being a little bit of a heads I win, tails I win uh, for this company uh, moving forward. All right. Shares in the 31 range. Your price target is 37. Uh, and we'll see if we do get some rates uh, to stabilize. Steve, thanks so much for joining us today. We appreciate it.